Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for being here, and thank you for the super thanks. And please avoid the hustlers on the feed. I am not doing personal reads. So today I want to read up on a lady who was part of BuzzFeed. She's a lawyer. The Royal Griff channel did a good um, investigation on her, and uh, it's a free speech lawyer. She was awarded, and she is. Her name is Nabina S A S Y E D Said. Anyway, she's trying to get a jump start on spinning the narrative of Markle. It's a media campaign to show that free speech is part of the whole situation. The Amber Heard trial didn't go well for Amber. Watching that go down, Amber has to live out of the country now. She's on the run from the U.S. because she cannot even walk anywhere. Probably without fear of her life because, well, she saw that. So I think that she's attempting to help Markle. Uh, but I would like to find out how she actually feels about Markle because she's a lawyer and I I get the feeling it's sort of, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, it's good for each other. Um, more likely, you know, lawyers tend to fall high on the spectrum of narcissism and antisocial. In fact, they are on the top three of um, psychopathy traits uh, is lawyer, CEO, uh, you know, sur uh, surgeon. Those are the, the top ones. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just um, self-fulfilling, you know, basically. Uh, it's just both climbing the ladder together, helping each other, um, and uh, not really truly having a bond is how I feel about it. But let's find out what... The cards have to say what do the cards have to say today all right how do you feel about her nabina nabina how do you actually feel about the markle she's going to probably get markled or nabina is going to markle 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 hasn't been markled by too many people here we go two of pentacles two of pentacles with the hang man hang oh it's the hang woman well i like this deck it's the hang woman can you believe that oh my it's the hang woman Hang woman, but in reverse. She's really not going to sacrifice herself for Markle. No, she isn't. It's all about juggling. Juggling resources. Balancing their energy. Uh, so it's probably a little, a little bit of a challenge. She could easily drop her at any point in time because uh, in reverse, this would be, uh, I'm done with you. I can't cope and I'm going to dump you. So at any point in time, since it's not a major arcana, this can flip and she could say, okay, we're done and over with. So that could be a pretty skittish position. And with the hang, especially with the hangman in reverse, she's not willing to sacrifice herself too much for her. She's doing it for her own selfish needs. So basically, narc on narc action and justice. And then acting like they're justice warriors. We're going to make sure everything becomes equilibrium because I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Listen to the lawyer. Uh, they're using each other's skills. They both possess different skills and they're juggling it with that two of pentacles. But really, neither one of them are for, for each other. It's all for selfish gains. So, <laughs> Is that a surprise? No. It's discontentment. It's going to end up in a negative pat pattern. And they both will, will end up with no solution with the hangman in the reverse position. And they both have a fear of sacrifice for other people. Sure, they like to act like justice warriors. And they both like to act like, um, you know, they can get balance and justice. They, they both think that they're, oh, I'm a justice warrior and I can equal things out. I'm going to, I'm all about equilibrium here and uh, making various cope demands and trying to create balance. But truly, they both have a fear of sacrifice for anybody. So really, they're about themselves because this is the selfish traitor, kind of a traitor, self-serving position, not willing to even go inward, to even think differently. So there's no true enlightenment there for justice and for balancing uh, the scales of life. Uh, they real. This is really about trying to balance the scales of life, but truly... It's really for themselves. So should that be any surprise? So I'm saying like-minded women, uh, which is going to be disastrous uh, because I would say that uh, Nabina is going to rise over Markle since she's actually an actual real lawyer and Megan is a pretend lawyer. Okay, here we go. We have here 10 of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, the challenging position is to turn Markle's negative legacy into a positive legacy so that she can get the fruits of life. 
uh, so that she could be surrounded by lasting happiness, security, and abundance. Uh, she's probably doing it to help her with the security problem. She wants security. She wants financial uh, a financial positive legacy. She wants to be completely comfortable in life and have it all. She wants it all without actually being part of a family. So she's got a negative legacy right now. She's hoping that she could spin that around because that's not a major arcana. So she's hoping she could turn it around, but um, not likely. And so I see this not probably working out. And the fact that this is not major arcana, this can flip and she could say, you know what, I couldn't do it, I'm dropping you. I can't cope with this, so we're done here. So that could easily flip, not being a major arcana. But she's still, Nabina still is gonna always say that she's a justice warrior here, that she's all about um, law and order. Uh, and tries to do things for other people. So this is her just trying to be a, a public lawyer. Uh, let's get to the focal point. Let's get to the a very liberal one at that. So yeah, she's she's part of BuzzFeed and everything there is very liberal. Here we go. Nine of Wands in reverse. So with the nine in reverse, it's coming to a very negative conclusion, a very negative breaking point because it's a nine in reverse. Nine upright is coming to a positive breaking point the end of old ways having financial security having a positive completion that would be nine upright but we got it in reverse and then it's a wand so wands upright is about having having the energy the enthusiasm uh the ambition the business and the family to take care of it it's achievable it's an achievable task I got it in reverse. So it's basically unachievable. Uh, there's a lack of ambition. The business in reverse, family in reverse, lack of, it, it, just not being able to go after and succeed at getting the task accomplished because upright wands get things done. That's an Aries. You know, I'm an Aries. Hey, we get things done. We got, we got something on our mind. Guess what? That thing's getting done. Uh, this here, not going to happen. Uh, not likely to. It's coming to a negative completion here. So it's it's basically, it's it's unachievable. And being a, what is it, nine of wands in reverse, uh, with the nine of wands in reverse is, is basically giving up. Um, it's the battle fatigue card. It's battle fatigue with perseverance. So they're going to actually at some point in time uh, totally uh, lose on their strategizing, lose on their hope. Uh, they're going to both be very guarded and wounded. Uh, you know, staying courageous is in this position. I'm just going to keep going. You know, I've got my wands. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to walk through this. I'm, I'm very wounded. I'm hoping for the best. Uh, I'm learning from the past. I'm getting stronger through it. I'm going to persevere, persevere. It is the card of perseverance here. They're not going to be able to persevere together for very long. It's going to be short-lived. They're going to, it's going to be very short-lived. Uh, and it's, it's both, they both feel probably, um, mistrust from the past. Neither, they both have trust issues, I would say. Let's go into the hidden energy, the hidden energy, the root here, the root for Nabina. Nabina, how do you feel about being markled or vice versa? I think she's going to markle, she's going to, I think she's going to Nabina, Nabina the markle. I don't know how to say that. Here we go. Okay, page of pentacles in reverse. Ooh, look at that. That's like snaky energy there. So pages. Pages is very young energy. Um, it's um, child energy. So it's very childlike uh, for starters. And it's a pentacle and it's in reverse. So that pentacle being reverse is uh, work, money, education in reverse. So basically it's about your home, your health, security, financial security. But being very young energy, this here is going to be bad news. Bad news, it's going to be a fail, uh, a lot of laziness, bad energy. Um, you know, it's a student card. It's the project card. It's meeting your goals, uh, gaining skills, building up your portfolio, building up the job. It's not going to happen. It's a lost cause. Because Markle has such a bad legacy here, it's such a negative legacy, it's probably likely to remain. And very unfulfilled, not getting what she wants, uh, being a nine, very arrested development. And Markle cannot build skills. There is no, there is no building anything. That's just totally negative offering. Uh, it's just going to be more and more bad. So I don't see any 
um, anything good happening here at all. Not at all. Let's get to the past position that doesn't serve. Past position that doesn't serve. Boom. Popped. We have here three of wands. Yeah, three of wands is that growth, expansion, communication. Uh, your ships are coming in. And, uh, you know, you, you are expanding. You, this comes after the Ace of Wands. First, the Ace of Wands, you get that spark of energy. The second of Wands, you take the first steps. You've got crossroads. You decide where you're going to paint your world. Three of Wands, okay, now we're going to grow. We're going to communicate. We're going to move forward. Our ships are going to come in now. Things are going to turn around and remove that negative legacy and make me look better. Nope. It's not going to happen. It's in the past position. That was when you were with the royal family. Sorry, honey. Not going to happen anymore. It's not going to get any better for you from here on out. You had your chance. So the ships coming in was in the past position. And she screwed up. So let's go into the future. The future. The future. So she's really up against a losing battle here. Uh, she's just taking it on because it looks good. Let's get here into the future. We have Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, karmic relationship in reverse. Uh, past efforts bearing fruit in reverse. It's unrealistic. It's naive. Uh, it's stuck in the past. Markle's going to be stuck in the past that she had everything going for her here. Then we also have here the Emperor in reverse. Because she was in the royal family, uh, the Emperor is my card of representing the firm, the royal family, in reverse. So basically, sorry, honey. You've been cut out, and since you've been cut out, you're not going to ever get to go back, probably never step foot on the UK soil, plus Canada, plus Africa. There's going to be places she's not going to be able to step foot in because King Charles is going to block her. King Charles is very, very upset with her. Uh, this is the authority figure that's going to um, basically have a very negative presence in her life uh, and cut her out. She's cut out. She's not going to ever have that. And since you had your ships at one point in time, you screwed up. Now you're in complete reverse with the family, with your own family. Uh, and she has such a negative karma, such a negative um, legacy. She will never recover. So sorry, Nabina, you're wasting your breath here. Really wasting your time. Talk about wasting your time in life. My God, I think she could find better cases to take care of herself because this one's not it. Really wasting your time, honey. Okay, let's get to the feelings in the situation for Nabina. Nabina. Nabina, you're a smart lady. You're a lawyer. You should know better. Here we go. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Giving up. Yeah, she'll have to give up, all right. Anyways, what else can I say about Five of Pentacles? It is basically uh, trying to recover her. She's going to have to recover herself. Uh, this is the outcast card. So she's going to realize there's too many hardships, wondering what's her purpose. She's going to realize there's a lot of illness of the mind and body and the estrangement. So there's going to be estrangement, but then she's going to have to, I think she's going to pull away in exile uh, from Markle and then recover herself because she truly is not self serve She's truly not going to service her. She's in it for herself. Because we did, you know, this here is not going to be her improvement here. Uh, we got that hang woman, hang woman in reverse as a challenging position sitting right here. I thought it was under here, but it's right here. And that's a challenging position is to actually take a, a different perspective on Markle and keep going to defend her. But she's, she's not, it's too much of a challenge. So here, uh, not going to happen. She's just going to have to go quietly and realize that she's dealing with a sick, wounded woman and uh, recover herself. Uh, the aim is to recover Markle, but I'm getting, no, she can't recover. So the only person she can recover is probably jump ship and recover herself uh, is how I feel about that. Let's go into the outside influences, outside influences, outside influences. There we go. Outside influences is the hermit. Yeah. And then, you know, go into hiding. Markle's going to have to go into hiding. She's going to have to heal her dark side. People are going to be like, wow, Markle's so dark. She needs to really distance herself from society. She needs to go within and heal that dark part of her psychology, that dark side of herself. So everyone knows Markle needs to heal herself. Everyone knows that she is very vulnerable, acts very vulnerable. She needs to do a lot of introspection. She needs soul searching. She needs to go through the dark night of the soul. So a lot of people are going to be like, really wish she would just kind of go hide. 
just go into hiding. Can you just get out of her face? Uh, that's that, that everyone wants us, her out of our face. Uh, just please go away in hiding and solitude. You need meditation and prayer. And I think it's really funny because people have been saying that Megan's meditation and prayer or her is about scheming, you know, figuring out what she's going to do next. It's truly not healing herself. Uh, when she goes into hiding and she goes silence, we know that she's in planning mode. We know that she's scheming and planning and, um, really being calculating so typically for her that's really what it is but it's looking like markle may very well end up in the hermit phase as well as nabina for a short while because she's going to realize that this was a bad bad move so she's going to have to distance herself definitely do some introspection and distance herself realizing that hmm, maybe this wasn't such a good thing and she's going to have to safeguard herself other people are going to safeguard themselves from, from Megan. A lot of people are going to distance themselves from Markle. Uh, most people won't want to have anything to do with her. She's going to be very lonely energy uh, because she won't have any friends. She won't have any family. She doesn't have any support. Uh, she is that runner, that narcissist, so malignant. People will just avoid her, much like Amber Heard. So maybe she will end up having to flee the country just like Amber Heard did. Uh, she's been going to a couple different countries. Uh, so, and, but people are kind of trailing her. So it's still out there. People do get occasional shots of her because I do cover her on Tarot Time with Andy. If you haven't been there, you can go check it out, which is on the right click on my head, header page there. Okay. Outside, excuse me, hopes and fears. We have here the moon in reverse. Yeah. She fears everything coming out. You got that right. The moon bump. The moon bump, the bump, bump, bump. It's all coming out. Unveiling. Unveiling does lead to healing if you go into the dark night of the soul. So I'm going to feel like basically she's going to find out. She knows everything. Every, all the delusions, smoke and mirrors. You know, this is all about smoke and mirrors and hiding your truths. Let's see, where is that? Yeah, she's facing a... What is she looking at? It looks like something kind of dead nonetheless. But they believe their own lies. They believe their own false narratives, delusions, and they're hiding the issues. Uh, things are not as they appear to be. So she's kind of looking at that thing going, hmm, things aren't quite what they appear to be. I need to get a closer look at that. What is that? I can't really admit that to myself. Hmm, I'm scared here. I don't know about this delusion and deception and illusion. Hmm, should I conceal my trauma? It is a concealed trauma. So she's going to realize everything's false and everything's going to be unveiled. Yeah. Which should he heal her some. She needs to realize and wake up. She shouldn't take on everybody. But this also applies to Markle. Every, everything's coming out. Everything's coming out about the false pregnancy. She's going to find out that things are not what they appear to be, obviously. Let's get to the final outcome. Final outcome. What do I have here? Two of swords. Yeah, so at this point in time, yeah, she's going to be feeling like she's got to make a difficult decision. She's at an intellectual crossroad with the two of swords. Uh, this indecision, it's a difficult decision to make. She has to check her head and her heart. She's got to weigh the pros and the cons. She's at a total intellectual crossroad. Uh, she's feeling like she was blindfolded and was avoiding it. Yeah. And this here, the moon and the ocean, typically in this card, aids in the intuition and checking in with yourself, going within to figure it out. So she's going to have this indecision, this intellectual crossroad to make a decision about Meghan Markle. And it's not going to be an easy one for her because as far as I'm concerned, she's just the kind of like-minded. So it's going to be a challenge for her to do it because she also suffers from some of the same mental pathologies. And that's going to be kind of a rude awakening. And then we have here, we have here Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's not going to be any growth here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is getting dropped, getting dumped. That's that taking that that pentacle in the hand and saying, I'm dropping the case. We're not working out. I can't help you. Uh, th there's no rewards here. There's no growth here. There's no new enterprise here. I cannot increase my salary by um, defending you. There's no opportunities for me to defend you. It's feeling let down, cutting off, dropping, roadblocking, lost opportunity, lost money, lost time, lost resources, waste of time. So she's going to feel like, wow, what a waste of time this was. So there you have that. Let's get to the bottom of the deck. 
bottom of the deck, I have here two of cups in reverse. Yeah, breaking up, disinterested, walking away from each other. Uh, that early stage of the relationship falls apart. There's no creative collaboration between them because they're both narcs as far as I'm concerned. Narc on narc has no creative collaboration. They only have intellect and lies and deception. They cannot do creative collaboration. So they're not going to even share their feelings and ideas with each other because they don't trust each other. So basically, two of cups in reverse. There's really no true love there. Just like I was saying here, it's really both kind of a selfish relationship, no true uh, insight. Uh, they have a lack of awareness, truly. And so that's why they're together. That's it's really, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. But she's going to realize scratching Marco's back is a waste of time. As everybody else is finding out. I mean, how could you be so deluded and not realize it? it's failed everybody else? But that's because I think she's just as deluded as to what she's capable of, like Marco. And then we have here in the center of the deck, we have Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Cups in reverse. A lot of reversals on this table. My God. Jeez. How many uprights do I even have? The only upright I have, I have to take a look at this real quick. <laughs> the only upright I have is the, is the justice. Justice, the two of pentacles, juggling energy, and the two of swords having to come to that difficult decision about what she's going to do. And the three of wands, like in the past, yeah, we're going to communicate. Yeah, we're going to we're going to uh, rock the world here together. But bottom line is so many reversals here with the queen of pentacles in reverse. She's going to try and gather her resources. It's a resor resourceful queen, but she's going to realize that whatever resources she has isn't going to be enough for Markle. And then we have here the eight of cups in reverse. That's walking away for empowerment uh, and uh, get being in a stuck position. Uh, not being able to overcome the emotional situation, thinking that you can walk away from empowerment, trying to heal yourself, and then realizing that it was a complete, utter waste of time once again with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that no amount of resources will help Markle because Markle uh, is very demanding. Uh, she is, when things are going well, she's as sweet as apple pie because you get more with sugar than you do salt. But the minute things are going bad and they're not going in her favor, uh, she turns into absolute vinegar. She turns into salt. Uh, people have said it. As soon as it, things are going well, oh, we get along so well. We're lovers. We're great. Everything's great. But the minute things go south, uh, she gets very violent. She has. Uh, it's said that she, she's she's incredibly um, cruel, cold, calculating, angry outbursts out the, I mean this is why people run from her and scream crying out of buildings I mean do you do you recall that one woman crying running out of a building I don't know her name but wow was that something else this poor woman was literally running out of a building in the UK away from Meghan Markle uh in tears she breaks people down to tears and horror uh so I see her treating the lawyer no different and they're gonna fall apart there is no overcoming anything. They are going to walk away from each other thinking that they can find empowerment, but really it's within yourself. You know, um, walking away from empowerment, thinking it's an outside source kind of card where they think, okay, it's you. I'm going to, I'm going to walk away. I can find it somewhere else because it's not here. So I'm walking away from empowerment because I will find someone else. I'm kind of depressed and it's a child acting up kind of vibe card. It's very much childlike acting up vibe. I'm going to look outside for fuel, healing, but I'm not going to find it here. And I'm broken hearted. I'm going to go somewhere else. But basically, they're not going to be able to. It was a shallow adventure. Very shallow adventure. And then with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse is realizing there is no amount of, of um, goods and services or um, you know, resources that are enough for Meghan Markle because she had the best resources. She had the best resources to grow and expand and collaborate uh, and, and become something when she was with the family. Her ships were going to come in before she left the royal family and before they dropped her, before they cut her out. So Markle not being a royal is going to be her downfall. No one can fix her. No one can pick her up. She's done. She's over with hashtag, hashtag. They are done. She is done, done, done. And Miss Nab Nabina is going to get the message like everybody else has. Yes, she will get that message. Let's get some other cards here. Just pull one or two, see what comes out. 
chocolate comes out. Here we go. Yeah, that getting that jump start is going to be a jump a jump back. She's going to be jumping back. She's going to want to jump off that that um, that cliff. You know that hang woman cliff when she deals with Marco. She's going to be drowning in tears. Here we go. We have here grief and sorrow. So there's grief and sorrow. She's going to you know grief and sorrow and this this success and love. It's in reverse. So there is no love there. They didn't like each other. I mean there there is no peace between them the dove represents peace absolutely no peace grief and sorrow within the high honors they were hoping that it would be an honor to do it but we have here big luck in reverse that's it's like an unlucky situation you know but this actually was in reverse too i believe and i flipped it but so really there is no connection here there is no there is no peace between them there is no there is no there is no luck you can't get lucky in trying to fix someone's negative legacy trying to maintain the high honor status uh facade management of life and um you know basically not having much empathy for each other i feel uh pretending it's a facade it's a facade relationship it's like a um it's a faux relationship it's a friend enemy relationship as far as i'm concerned it's 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 not a true bond it's just it's strictly uh, let's rise each other up in this cause and a cause it's it's not for each other it's for a general cause and it's just not going to pan out it will fall apart like everything else all right you guys hope you enjoyed this till next time like and subscribe bye you guys